Hello there. Welcome to the division of hell that I call my workshop. My name is Marcus Lance, Lance Handmade Knives. I've been making knives, stock removal for the past three years. It was something that I saw online, like a lot of other guys. I collected bussy knives, I had a few custom blades, got to the point to where I got tired of spending money on other people's knives and decided it shouldn't be that hard to start making my own. So I went through the process of researching on blade forums, watching YouTube videos, doing everything I could to make sure that it was something that I wanted to do and that I'd be able to do. Here we are almost three years later and I'm happy to say that I'm a part-time knife maker. Not a bladesmith. Um, haven't been able to find an anvil for a reasonable price yet and get into forging. I've done a little bit with the cheap Harbor Freight anvils you can buy, but anybody who's had one of those will tell you they're not worth much. Today, I'm going to be trying to take this machete that a friend gave me. This is actually a project I was supposed to be doing for him, but unfortunately he's incarcerated now. So I'm going to finish this thing up and keep it and if and when he ever gets out and I see him, it'll be a little gift. Not sure he'd be allowed to have stuff like this when he's out, but anyway. So, I'm not honestly sure what kind of machete this will, is or where it came from, but you can see the tang, the handle here, it's been broken off. When he gave it to me, there was duct tape and cloth wrapped around it, and they were using that as a handle. I am going to clean it up, grind the tang down, try and drill a hole, one hole, right about here, and then take these two pieces of leopard wood on either side, shape them to fit, cord wrap that, epoxy the whole thing, and then fit this piece of quarter inch canvas micarta rod as a makugi pin. So I've really always liked Japanese style blades and I've always wanted to do something more traditional construction but I'm very impatient and not very good with the finicky tedious things yet. I'm getting there, practice makes perfect, but to kind of sate my thirst, I'm going to try this project. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already let this sit in paint thinner for a little while to try to get soften up some of the duct tape adhesive, but I think I'm going to start off with a 36 grip belt, try to clean this up, flatten it down a little bit, probably reshape the blade. You can, oh wow, I just caught the camera. I knocked it down, but I caught it. We're going to leave that in there. That was pretty smooth, even though you didn't see my actions. So we're going to reshape the blade into a little bit more of a Japanese style. You can see it's kind of cutlass shaped. That bent tip, I dropped it on the concrete floor last night just to check to see if this steel was going to be worth anything. It bends, you can't see this, but it bends pretty well. So I think it should be alright without having to reheat treat it. I don't want to have to soften the tang to drill that hole. If I have to, I will, but we're going to see what we can do without doing that. So I'm going to cut here and next time you see me, I'll be at the grinder.